Do you agree that if you want to start making money faster as a UX, UI developer freelancer is to niche down for certain industries? Okay, so I've talked about this uh, as a tip before multiple times. And essentially to recap, that's a great, it's a great question. And I think it's a, it's a good idea. Um, obviously as time progresses, we're getting more and more designers and developers are adding to the marketplace. And so the more you niche down, the, the faster you're going to find immediate success, I would say. So, um, for instance, let me give you an example. Let's say for instance, you know, you're a UI UX designer slash developer. You make websites for people. That's how you want to make your living. Um, but you also have another interest like, like in your life. Maybe you have a hobby or you have something you're good at. Um, so for me, I have a few things. I like guitar, music in general. I also like fitness, I'm trying to get these muscles. Okay, that's weak. Anyway, <laughs> so I have fitness that I like. Um, you know, I, I do a lot of running. Uh, so that, that's kind of fitness as well. So those two things, also reptiles. So those two or three things are industries that I can tap into because I have specific knowledge of them. And if you have specific knowledge of them, the other people who are also in those industries, whether they're businesses or customers, they're, they're essentially going to have more confidence going with somebody who understands their problems. And from a marketing perspective, it also would benefit you as well, because the more you're niching down instead of like, if you're trying to, let's just say you're trying to, um, do SEO search engine optimization. And let's say, you know, a lot of people, they just try to target keywords like web developer. <laughs> Sorry, you're never going to rank top 10 for web developer, unless you're really freaking solid and you know, your SEO very well. Most people that's not going to be a thing. So I, uh, then they'll niche down to like web developer in San Francisco. That's going to be very competitive as well. Um, but if you do something like, uh, something like, uh, fitness training, website developer, or something like that, you might have, you're going to have an easier time ranking for a niche keyword like that, or keywords like that, as opposed to be gener to, to being generalized. Um, you can also visit as a forum of marketing, you can visit other forums. I, uh, where all these people are hanging out. So what is that Reddit? They'll, they'll have a group for, they have multiple groups for fitness and training. Obviously, I, uh, there's, there's, you can even niche down real crazy. Like fitness is a big niche. Okay. But if we go down even further, like my wife is a lactation consultant. Well, there's Facebook groups specifically for lactation consultants. And these are all business owners and they need websites for the lactation consulting business. Well, if you got in good with that group and you joined and, you know, I could say my wife is a lactation consultant and, and I made her a website. If you guys want a website as well, this is the cost, whatever, that would be an excellent idea. And maybe I'll do that as a case study uh, to show people how you can kind of niche down to create, you know, uh, a nice business for yourself that is industry specific. So I love the idea. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy.